we're going to introduce Google Calendar's appointment slots feature and how it works in the University of Delaware apps environment. So what are appointment slots? They are sections of time set aside for specific events that allow people to self-schedule time with you. They can be used for office hours, for advising appointments, even to set up and search committee interviews. Access your University of Delaware Google Calendar at gcal.udel.edu. Log in with your CAS username and password. Here's a sample of what a calendar looks like. Simply click and drag to select a block of time. In this sample, it's 1 to 3 p.m. on Tuesday. Then you'll make some choices. First, switch it to appointment slots from a standard event. Title your recurring appointment slot. Here it's office hours. We could change the timing right now and we can edit details to get it even more granular. So let's click edit details and see what's there. So you can confirm that it is on the right calendar because you can have many calendars for many different reasons. As number two indicates, you can edit the frequency so it can be multiple days of the week and for multiple occurrences, say for a whole semester of 26 times. You can offer this, the preset times from 5 to 60 minutes or type in any minutes of your choice. You could do 12 minute meetings if that works for you. You can note the location of appointments so that people can check on their own calendar where your office is before they're scheduled to meet with you. You can add information or instructions, as I have here, that explains what you're going to do at this appointment. The link for the calendar's appointment page is rather lengthy, and I'll be talking to you about how to distribute that in a little bit. But that's up here at number six. And number seven indicates the save button. You have to save your appointment slot for it to show up on your calendar. Once you've made those changes, you'll see the appointment slot shows up on your calendar. It looks similar to all the other events and appointments on your current calendar. The difference between an appointment identifier is the icon before the hour marker and the time slot indication. So now you need to distribute the appointment link. You can do this in a number of ways, three of which are noted here. You can send it in a targeted group email. You could post it on a web page. Or you could send it out via a web content tool link in your Sakai course or project. Again, remember that URL for the appointment calendar page is rather lengthy. So you may want to embed the link behind appropriate wording, such as schedule an appointment. So viewers already signed in to Google Apps at UD when they click your link have immediate access to your appointment slots. They only have access to your appointment slots, not your entire calendar. And you can see in this sample that on Tuesdays and Thursdays, office hours are from 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. in half an hour increments. So Delaware visited my calendar appointment link and chose to meet with me at 1 o'clock on Tuesday on September 11th. Once she clicks, simply clicks that space, it shows up on her calendar and mine. If Della checks her schedule again and realizes that 1 o'clock isn't good for her, she can click 2.30 to reserve that time as well. Now both of these times are reserved for Della. By clicking on the 1 p.m. link, she's able to cancel that appointment and free it up for another student. So now, the 2.30 appointment is hers, but all the others are free again. When another viewer, this is Newton Ark, comes to the calendar, he doesn't even see the option to book from 2.30 to 3 o'clock. Della has already reserved that time but he wants to take the one o'clock slot. He simply clicks it and now that shows up on his calendar and mine. So here's what the appointment slots look like from the creator's point of view. 
this is switched to the day view versus the week view that was on the other calendar, just so you can see more detail. But you can see that New Nark is supposed to meet with me at 1 o'clock, and Delaware is due at 2.30 on September 11th. Here are some tips. All appointment slots are related to a single calendar and will be available from the same appointment slots link. So if you really like this feature, you want to think about making appointment slots for specific things. So maybe your E110 office hours are Monday and Wednesday from 1 to 3, and they're all semester. Your advising hours are Friday from 9 to 11.30, all year round. Or your search committee interviews are Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday from 9 to 10 a.m. for two weeks. By making this a descriptive um, title rather than just appointments, uh, people will know what they're signing up for, and you can block your time accordingly so you don't have to switch thoughts from E110 to advising to the search committee all in the same morning. Anyone with a Google account and your appointment calendar link may self-schedule. The workflow for UD viewers not signed into Google Apps at UD before they click the appointment calendar link is slightly different. And this situation occurs more often than you might think. It happens when viewers forward their UD email to an external account rather than the Google Apps, or viewers click a link for an appointment calendar posted on a web page. If this happens, viewers are directed to the public Google Calendar sign-on page. This is not a UD page and we need to get them there, so this is the easy way to show them how simply put in the University of Delaware email address in its completion in the email box. Leave the password field blank. Google, the public Google does not use our CAS authentication passwords. They don't have them. So just click the blue sign on button and you'll be popped over to the Google Apps at UD sign on page where they can sign on and they will see the calendar just as if they went directly there from their Google Apps account. I hope this video is, in, is helpful and that you'll use the appointments feature quite often. And if you have any questions, you can call the University of Delaware's IT Support Center at 831-6000.